Happy Day Hero. Yeah, many communities in our state depend on volunteers for fire and EMF services, and there's a volunteer shortage in many communities. And here to tell us how you could help is Fred Dudek. He's the chief of Killingworth Volunteer Fire Company and program manager of Everyday Hero Connecticut. Chief, thanks for Welcome. being here on CT Style. Thank you for the opportunity to explain the program. No how doubt, long no. have you been a volunteer firefighter? I have been a volunteer for 45 years in Killingworth. 45? Wow. Yes. Now it's, it's hard to juggle, right, because uh, people with full-time jobs, I mean, how do you make that all work? Yeah, I think one of the things uh, we found out during recruitment uh, for volunteer firefighters is you have to have a passion for the particular job. Mm. Yeah. And it is, a, it is a juggle, and particularly today's life, it's because it's so busy, uh, and bedroom communities, uh, it's, it's a, quite a struggle. You probably have to have a family that's understanding, too, you right? Have to have a, you have, have to have a very understanding wife and, and children. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, that's you funny. do. That's sure. funny. Now, now, how many departments, uh, volunteer departments, are here in Connecticut? Uh, the actual number, there's 26,000 uh, firefighters in Connecticut. Okay. And out of that number, 83% of them are volunteer firefighters. Wow. Nationally, it's around 72% mm. uh, are volunteers. Sure. So tell us about the Everyday Hero program. Everyday Hero program uh, was created under the uh, blanket uh, of Volunteer Workforce Solutions. And that's a combination, a uh, joint effort by the International Association of Fire Chiefs and the Connecticut Fire Chiefs Association that saw a need for recruitment and retention because mm -hmm. we've lost, uh, in the past 25 years, our numbers have been reduced by 12% wow. for volunteer wow. firefighters. Yeah, so you need the help then? Yes, we do. We abso absolutely absolutely. That's do. a big problem if, if a town doesn't have enough people on their volunteer. It's a, it's a very large problem, both budgetary and emergency-wise, obviously, because uh, one of the things that they may be forced to do is go to a combination department or a full career department. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you recommend to somebody who's sort of on the fence, who might want to get into it but isn't quite sure? Well, what we found out is 80% of the people don't know that they need volunteers, that mm -hmm. their town needs volunteers, and I think that's the biggest push is um, you got to have a passion for the job, but you don't need just to do firefighting. You can do IT work, mm -hmm. you can do treasury work, you can do administrative functions for us, which frees up some of the younger fellas and gals for uh, the actual firefighting events. Sure. And training is provided, obviously. Training is provided. Uh, it, it is a, a large number of hours uh, every every week, every month, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, it is provided, quote, free of charge. Yeah. And, and there's also a lot of EMS and police who are also volunteer firefighters in the side. Yes, there are. Right? There are uh, uh, also career firefighters who also volunteer in their communities. Wow. Yep. A lot of wow. work. Yep. A lot yeah. of work you guys are putting in. But good work, right? And if people very who want to get involved, this is a good opportunity. Yeah, it's very fulfilling. Um, I, I think that uh, anyone that has a desire to volunteer for their town, uh, it would be very rewarding for them. Excellent. Right. Well, where's the website people can uh, learn a little bit more? Uh, the website is uh, everydayherocct.org, and uh, that would explain where they can go to find out more information, or they can dial 1-800-FIRELINE, which is answered at the Connecticut Fire Academy. Excellent. And uh, someone Take will get back to them. Yeah. Take it from there. All right, Chief. Thank you for what you do. Thank yeah. you for being here All as right. well. All yeah, right. Thank, thank you. you.